Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? I hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Uh, also check out the top right eye and all that stuff. And if you consider being a patron, you got the link down below. I'd appreciate that very much if you at least check that out. Um, but anyway, here we are. <clears throat> it's been a long time since I made one of these videos. And... The state RPG. Well, let's check what state it is in, actually. So what we have is we have a main menu. We can play a new game, character created, list characters. Very basic. It, nothing with the game has been created yet. So if I press new game, nothing happens. Okay. If I press three, nothing happens. There's only two that I actually got working for now where we can create a new character. And then that's pretty much it. Two and three don't do anything. One will do something. You can create a character test description whatever and then you'll have your character there but you can't really do anything else beside that but you can go back and forth between the states so it's a good recap for you guys and this video is going to be a little bit of a recap in case you haven't watched the last videos so let's go to our state main menu and this is where we're gonna reside for a little bit we have this functionality here hopefully you can see that you have your states and you have your character list and then all that stuff here which you can push and all that stuff. So that's the system we're going with. You can you can have your states, you can push stuff. Now, the reason I don't have any bigger object here to push everything in one object is because I won't need that many. I'm probably just going to need states in the character list in this in this scenario. Later on, if we do need something, we're going to create something called a state container, which is going to contain all the data that we require to send between states. And that's a little easier to do I'd say in in C++, but yeah, here we can do it here as well. The step now is to make sure we get a create a character. We can list our characters. Now it's only printing out the counts for me here, but I'm going to actually list these. So let's create a little for loop for each loop. Uh, var do 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 character in this dot character list and we're going to print out each character so just control x that line put it in here good and then character dot let's see so we have our character now go into your character and see what you have here you have your we have a two string so we just print out the name and the two string that's okay so we'll just use the two string dot to string and we'll actually get the names out of these but I don't only want that I only will also want to do a uh, let's see I actually would want a number there but we don't you know what we'll just run with this right now if I list the characters nothing's gonna come out let's create a character here test and then we'll do minus one and then list all the characters and then you'll see we get our characters here good very good. But all this will, of course, be done in functions and not just like this. So we have our update here. Uh, let's do it below this. Good. Public. So what options do we have? That's how I'm going to create all my functions. Now, what we will do, we'll create a public void start new game. And in here, we'll do all the checks we need and set an active character for our game. Since we have a list of characters, we need to pick one of those. Uh, so I'm going to create that and I'm going to create a public. Uh, let's see, instead of list characters, let's call it select character. And then that will allow me to select an active character instead of that. But this will also print all of those out void select character so now we have two functions to play with which is very nice am i even recording right now yes okay good two characters to play with so let's get started in this we're gonna do this start new game very simple and in three we're actually just gonna control x this for each loop and we're gonna do this select character good 
Now we have a few things and instead of this, let's do select character in the menu option here. Another thing we need to fix is we need to do a nice check on this input here. And to do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into GUI. First of all, we're going to do this actually. Sorry about this. Go into your state main menu again, go to your select character and paste that for each loop you copied before that goes away. Now we'll go into GUI before we do anything in the other ones. I'm going to actually create a public static int get get input int like this and then I'm going to do a string string message this function function is going to be about safely getting an integer into something and print this message for the user to see what they're supposed to input very simple right very simple so my, my thing here is you do an int because we have an int here, int input equals minus one, whatever. Um, or we'll have, yeah, we'll have actually put it to null. Can you put it to null? Yeah, you can't put it to null. Okay. Let's just set it to minus one and let us do this. Now console dot right line message so we'll print out the message whatever message the user sends in and then we're going to do a convert dot two int 32 but we're going to do this in a try block in a try catch block so what we're going to do is we're going to try to convert whatever input we got console dot read line okay Whatever input we get, we're going to try to convert that into a int32 and also do input equals convert in 32 and we'll do that in a try block and we'll catch whatever pops in here. Catch exception exception e a general exception, any exception that will come out of this, we'll catch it. And then you don't have to print it, but you can do e dot. I'm pretty sure you can do e dot message. Yeah. Console dot right line e dot message. Good. Very good. And that will catch that. What you can do in here is you can make sure you save this. Um, and this will fail. Obviously this will fail. We'll print that out, but you want to have this in a while loop. So while input minus, let's put this at minus 10 because it will never be minus 10 input equals minus 10. We'll try to get an input out of here. Okay, and then return input. Good. So let's go through this again. We have our input value minus 10. We'll never input minus 10. Uh, and then we'll write the message to the user. There we go. And then while input is minus 10, we're going to try to get some input. Okay, try to keep getting the input. And then we can actually put this in here. So it will be within the while loop. Now we'll go here. We'll try to, we'll tell the user what to input. We'll try to get the input. If there's a problem, we'll catch the exception. We'll print it out and then we'll go back because input is still minus 10. Okay. And then we'll do input equals minus 10 in here. And we'll just keep going like that. So if we, hopefully you can see what's going on here. If there's an error, we'll reset it and then it will keep trying to get that input. Good. So now we have a function that does that. That's great. Let's go back to state main menu and then to wherever we're getting this int input and we'll just use that function instead. GUI dot get input int 
and then we'll say there we go we'll use this in here as well to send that as a message and i'm pretty sure that returns a no that prints something out let's see okay you know what we could do we could actually use this internally input there we go let's use that internally since we already have that in the gui go back to your gui and wherever we write the message let's just do gui get input like that good and i'll run this. this is something we had to do before we start so now it's saying input good let's do a d input string was not in correct format and then we'll do four didn't work five or did work but anytime you get an exception it's not going to crash now so new game to create character new character and then we'll try to list the characters and it will print those out for me so good good guys you see this is working nice oh we spent a lot of time on this trying to explain this so in the next one actually we're going to start working with all of this stuff here start a new game select the character and everything Hopefully it was cool anyway. Now you know how to do exception handling on input in C Sharp, which is very good to do. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Check out the top right eye. Check out the description box. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, right? Bye-bye.